Hello! Today we will go together through this process of painting a whale in a sunrise. This was a special gift for a friend of mine. Happy birthday, Bruna! And I know she loves whales and sunrises. The beginning of this painting was creating this blue background, as I usually do and also to define the darkest areas of the painting and the drawing of the painting. I created this painting based off a photograph, but also all the changes in the color and the lightning was just out of my mind. So at this time, I have no idea what's gonna turn out like. I love working in this texture of the sea because it's literally a lot of horizontal lines and you just keep adding layers to it and it starts giving that movement that the water has. This is when I start doing the sky and I decided to do a sunrise because Bruna really likes sunrise. She wake up super early to go and watch the whales at the beach. So I wanted this to look stunning, to have a very strong and beautiful color, just how we see in the Australian sky that we love so much. The canvas I'm using to paint is 20 centimeters by 20, but there is a floating wooden panel behind it, which is 30 by 30. So that's why I have this paper covering the sides of it, because I really want to make sure there will be no paint in contact with the wood. I then start working on the sea colors and a very interesting thought came to my mind which is what color is the sea? But it definitely depends on the light that is reflecting onto it. In the morning you usually can be gray, whitish and in this case some yellow and orange besides the blue. So yes, the ocean can be pretty much any color. Isn't that magical? That's why lately when I've been out on the nature, I'm always checking with my eyes. What is the actual color I'm seeing? Great tip for an exercise. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below as well. I would love to know what you thought about this painting and I'm hopefully inspiring you to start painting as well, maybe one day. Or if you're here just to watch and you just enjoy seeing the process, enjoy! That's around the time when I figure out that even though my background is looking great, it's definitely not straight. So let's get some help with the ruler so that way I can have the same starting end from the top of the canvas to my horizon line. Oof, much better, isn't it? To me, this color combination for the sky is just the most perfect ever. I love seeing a very saturated sky and I love when you can see many different colors and tones on it as well. So I try to represent that on my painting. You see yellow, you see orange, blue, purple, magenta, just beautiful. And it reminds me how much I love Australia. Because it's definitely not rare to see the sky that colorful here. I 
think this is the time when it starts to get a bit more exciting because almost everything has its own shape, its own color defined. I can then start giving more movement to the whale. And she's jumping, so I really wanted it to look like a jump. You can see with the brush, I can bring a lot of paint into the brush and use that amount of paint to create this texture of water. So sometimes you'll be a longer drop, sometimes you'll be a very thin one. And having this variety is what will make it look more natural and real. Because nature is just organically beautiful and that's what I'm trying to represent there. As an instructor of paint and seep, the job that I've done for quite some time last year, I would always say to my students that on the last 10 minutes, that's when the magic really happens. That's when you can see the beautiful painting coming through. And, you know, in this case, the white color just made such a huge difference. It just packed everything together, just made everything more alive. So I love how acrylic just comes up in layers and layers and usually it's a persistence work but it's very rewarding as well because I'm really loving what I'm seeing and I hope you guys too. With this addition of blue on the top, it just added another layer of color and depth to the painting and I loved it. And it's time to show you the final one. I loved the result of this painting. I cannot wait to give it to my friend. I'm sure she's gonna love it. And this was the process of another painting. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and leave your comment below. I'll see you next time.